Robert Wilson from Boxo USA. Robert and I think a lot alike when it comes to sponsorship. So this dude is a wealth of knowledge. I wish I had an hour to talk to Robert, but <laughs> Robert, we got 10 minutes to squeeze it in real quick. You're a little bit different because a tour will most likely sell to a dealer, which then sells to um, a consumer who goes to that dealer for tires. You sell direct. Boxo sells direct. How do sponsorships differ for a company like Boxo versus, you know, King Shocks and Aturo? Well, I mean, I think we all kind of work a little bit together in the same fashion. But yeah, since we're B2C and we're selling directly to the consumer, the end user, it makes it a little bit easier for us. Um, even though we are going into, you know, bigger dealer and distribution side of things. Um, I think the, you know, the sponsorship side of it, you know, sending your deck and uh, hitting us up at shows is pretty much ends up being the same thing. It's just uh, us, we're a small company and may not have the big budgets uh, that some of the companies do. Well, it's, I like Boxer's approach because, you know, Monster Energy, they made a soda cool. You know, you had Skull Candy made headphones cool. Now 805 mm -hmm. is making beer cool. Well, Boxo is making tools cool. And that's really special because it, it adds that level of culture and branding, not just selling tools to racers but making them part of something cool and giving them a cool image which then they want and it adds value to them explain how that works absolutely it's all about the lifestyle right you know whether you're racing right now at the california 300 or you're at your boat at the dcb regatta which will be heading out to tomorrow uh you know it's uh we're we're trying to build a brand and make it cool just like you said and then when you're looking for teams to sponsor what is it that you look for well i you know i just was i heard the last speaker there and sorry i wasn't on you know for a big part of the day we're we're building 35 pallets to get shipped out here in the only two days i'm going to be around some people actually um, have to work yeah yeah and travel schedule is crazy right now really i mean for us uh content is the number one thing for us um we we love um, sponsoring winning racers it's there's only one winner in every race right but how many people are entering the california 300 right now i imagine it's hundreds of people right so only one person in a particular class is going to win or if there's 10 classes there's only going to be 10, 10 winners out there but if there's 300 racers that's 300 pieces of content that there's a yeah. potential for so um for us a uh, small group of people that do a you know ton of different jobs uh and so I'd say, again, content for us is number one. Using the tools, uh, whether it's in your prep or on the race, uh, you know, these guys have to spend bolts to, to get their race cars or any kind of vehicle out there. Right. And uh, George, is that a question? Uh, yeah, we actually had more of a comment that I kind of think goes along with the stuff that you guys are saying. Barbara <laughs> said, thank you to Boxo USA for making tools cool and supporting the Hall of Fame. The comment that comes in there means that everybody is supporting everybody else. So it's cool to see the companies supporting other companies, not just racers. Well, another cool thing, cool, the thing that's really cool about Boxo is it, it it's not just a set of random tools, but it's very specific tools. There's a Harley kit. There's a UTV yeah. kit. There's kits for specific applications. And I think that's brilliant. Can you go into that for a sec, Robert, how that works? Yeah, we call them ASKs. It's application specific kits, you know, and we're all enthusiasts over here ourselves. We all have UTVs or dirt bikes um, and we go over, we go to those segments and really try and make it the easy button for somebody. Um, we always used to go and just, you know, rampage our boxes and throw some stuff into a bag and go out on our UTV and we'd forget some or it wasn't labeled we didn't know. So we want to make it as easy as possible and while still giving them a quality tool at a great price. And tools they need. You were once telling yeah, me. Yeah, the tools that you need tools. to try. Tools they need. Yeah. Well try and keep the cost down. Try and keep the weight down and the space, yes. you know, confines down too. Otherwise, you know, we could give them this huge kit that weighs a ton and costs too much. Um so we really look at all those different aspects. And then what does a sponsorship from Boxo look like? Is it cash? Is it product? Is it media? Is it all of the above? I'm assuming you're a young, well, more more younger brand than some of the more legacy tools. So it it I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's gonna be more product. Yeah, a lot of product driven. Uh and again, we're we're fortunate that a lot of people that are racing or that we're sponsoring need need tools, right? To work on their stuff. So that gives us a little bit better advantage than maybe, you know, Arma peanuts or something, right? You know, this is something that somebody can actually use um in their shop or on the race cars at the track. 
and stuff. So we typically always start with product. There's very few of our athletes that actually get a check cut. Again, our, our budget just doesn't allow for that, but we try and get the tools into their hand. But you also have an affiliate program now. We just mentioned, yes. I was talking with Michael about that and he doesn't yet have one, but I know Boxo does. Describe how that works because that's an additional way yeah. for drivers to make money from the brand. Yeah, it was a must. We had to get it going. Um, we get probably every week 50 requests and we're a small team. Um, sorry to anybody out there that sent an email and we haven't got back to you. It's definitely not on purpose, but again, so hard to keep up with. So we always guide people to that affiliate program. You go to our website. There's a tab there under affiliates. You immediately get 10% off on anything that you're going to purchase. And then you get a code that you can put out to your fans where they get 10% off. Anything that they purchase, you get a 10% commission. You get paid monthly on that. And that's where we're guiding. We'd love everybody to go get started there because then we can start to see. Again, that gives you the ability. If you need to buy something right now, you can get 10% off, right? It gives you, at least gives you something. Then your fan base, you're giving them something. And then potentially you could make money on, on the backside. And we can start tracking that. Tracking. That's key. That's really yeah. key because I give out promo codes and track, you know, who can help me bring in racers to these calls. How do you track? How does that work? What does a racer on the call need to learn or need to understand if they want to help you and track their performance? Yeah. Again, with that affiliate program, there's a dashboard that you can sign on anytime. You can see who's using the code and what your commission is going to be. And then we have access to that. Again, we have all these different people um, that we already sponsor and people that are asking is really hard for us to keep up with all that. I wish it was my full-time job. I, I know uh, when we were at Lucas, we had a whole team, right? We had five or six people. That's all they did. Five full-time people that all they did was keep track of sponsorship. That's crazy. Think about how much those salaries are and stuff. Unfortunately, we just don't have it, but we can set alerts, right? And if we see somebody that's got, you know, their code being used 10 times in a month where the average is zero or one, that automatically allows us to start looking into that person and looking a little bit deeper. And it just gives us that, that insight. Cause everybody um, that we see thinks they're the best, thinks yeah. that, you know, they should be sponsored. And, uh, and again, you know, something I could just tell everybody, uh, you know, don't go about it that way because we're getting hit up, you know, all, you know, tons and tons every single month, everybody's saying the same exact thing. So it's a proof, you know, proofs in the pudding and the affiliate program gives us some, again, some insights to get started with. Yeah, that makes sense. You can see who's actually working for the brand. So George is saying that we have a question. Yeah. So uh, somebody that signed up, uh, Dustin Woods actually is already uh, scouting for sponsorship and help from Boxo. Robert, I have access to over 10,000 demolition derby drivers working and building their own derby cars every day. Let's chat. Awesome. <laughs> tell, tell, I mean, go to the affiliate program and sign up today because if you got 10,000 yeah. people, uh, say you get 10 of those people this month to buy something, we're going to look at you. We're going to give you a call. Um, you know, we're actively looking at people out there too. We're getting a lot of request but we're also enthusiasts in a lot of these different sports we're at a lot of these different races and events and we're seeing who's performing i walk through the pits i just talk to people i let everybody show me who they are not tell me who they are right everybody Ooh, can like say that. they're the best um i i walk through the pits i see how they're handling themselves how they're handling their their crew people right if you're if you're throwing tools and cursing and whatever you know at your crew or, or people around you that's probably not somebody we want to be connected with man you're super thankful and your team's you know jiving and and things are somewhat flown then i i see that right and then i get a call from you i already know who you are show me who they are don't tell me i like that mm -hmm. so yeah. in 30 seconds any last words of advice for the drivers on the call seeking sponsorship something that you might not have brought yeah. up yet no, I think, you know, we, we all do a bunch of events, come out and say hi to us, you know, shake our hands. Don't, don't be afraid of us. You know, social media has made it so they, everybody thinks that they could just DM and, and I, I don't, I don't know if we've ever given a sponsorship from a DM. It definitely might be a starting point, right. but you have to email first and foremost, because nothing's going to happen from, from a DM on, on Instagram. I'll tell you that much. We, we might see your spot, but it's not going to happen. And then, uh, 
yeah, that's about it. I want to thank you for putting this on and for what you're doing for all these guys. I, you know, everybody that's on this call and listening, you know, you should you send Alex and his whole team a thank you. And, you know, to the Martelli brothers uh, that, are, that are, you know, sweating, putting on this event that you guys are, uh, you know, that's going on right now. Thank them for for putting on this race and given a well, place to race. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Robert. We're, you know, we're trying to grow up from, from racer up, ground grassroots up, ground level sure. up. Money yeah. has to come from the bottom and go up. It doesn't trickle down. So thank you. Thanks, Robert. Thank, thank no. you for taking the time. I appreciate it.